Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Gone Rogue And in this episode of Gone Rogue I am going to talk about Always stick to the plan That is right In this episode of Gone Rogue I am going to talk about how it is best To always stick to the plan so the idea that I want to talk about in this episode of Gone Rogue and what what came to my head to talk about this topic is that is that I want to share a a experience that I had that when I did not stick to the plan according to the plan so let's say that I was away Um, I was in a different country and I had let's say for example and this can be relevant to many examples that we face in life but for the main example that I'm going to use is traveling to the place that I have never been to. So, let's say I I traveled to Canada. Our great neighbor in Canada. And you've never been to Canada. I've never been to Canada. And it turns out you're going to have a chance to travel to Canada and you don't know what places to go in Canada. So, first off, what are you gonna do to have a fun time in Canada? First off, you're gonna make a plan, right? So you go on these YouTube. (coughs) So you go on, excuse me, so you excuse, so you go on to these YouTube videos, typing things in what did what are top ten things to do in Canada, and you select the things that you think you'll enjoy and and make a plan from that, or also do your own research, like from a traveler blog on what to do in Canada. So that's that so you have a plan and you fly to Canada and you land in Canada and you first thing you want to do is stick to the plan a bit but for my example I actually tend to go away from the plan and be more of a impromptu Prop 2, if that's how you pronounce that word, or become spontaneous on going to places that defer to the plan. And before moving forward, I think it's great to have a plan when you're, when you want to do things in life. It's better to have a plan than have no plan and be spontaneous. So, back to what I was saying having a plan is best because you're not going to encounter any surprises or or miss out on things that you don't want to miss out on so so I'm in Canada and the first thing I want to do is go to go to the one of the one of, one of the main attractions which is visit the CN Tower so I visit the CN Tower then turns out that I have more time than usual so I visited all the places um, that I did in like a day in downtown Toronto and turns out that that wasn't sticking to, to the plan because my original plan 
was to visit five attractions. Instead, I visited ten attractions and then and kind of like rushed through it, thinking that I only get one day in Toronto. When in reality, I had two days in Toronto. So, so I just want to be on here and say always stick to the plan because having a plan is best because you'll get more enjoyment of visiting the places that you want to visit instead of trying to cram everything in in one day thinking that this is um, since um, if you visit all the places in one day cram it in cram everything in and condense it in one day when you have two is like you're gonna miss out on you're not gonna fulfill the enjoyment of missing the, these attractions so it's just like in life you have to plan things out and stick to the plan whether you're in college and decide to, be, to become a um, engineer you have a plan on what to do in order to become and graduate as an engineer, software engineer, designer, or a doctor or a nurse, or a or a lawyer. You have a plan. You have to make a plan and stick to that plan in order to fulfill your dreams and become successful. And back to my example of me of trying to um, of my plan of traveling to Toronto to visit these attractions is was a spontaneous I didn't stick to the plan if I stick to the plan when I visit Toronto I felt like I would have enjoyed more time of each attractions and the less time that I had trying to cram things in one single day when I had two. So, just a personal story there because on day two, I kind of like visit, visited the same attraction but in reverse order. So the, so the first thing, so on like day one of Toronto when I had two days, I visited the CN Tower then ended up uh, and ended, ended the trip for day one in Chinatown and for day two I, I did the reverse day two I visited Chinatown uh, Kensington Market and ended my day two trip at the CN Tower so basically I just so basic so basically I just um, tried to like condense too many things in in one day, which is not an ideal way to enjoy yourself. That is right. The idea of sticking to the plan is being able to enjoy things yourself and fulfill that desire that you are able to enjoy the hell out of these attractions that you visited. And this applies to anything such as life or a plan in life of what you want to do. So yeah, that's all I want to share about um, <clears throat> about the <clears throat> about the plan of sticking to the plan. Oh, if you find this life advice helpful, if you do find this life advice helpful. Um, Please give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below on what you think about this video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you get my other YouTube content that's on this channel. And thank you for watching Gone Rogue. And I'll see you on the next one.